Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 3 of my invasion series. We're going to get a jump on the day. Morning has just started. I punched out this hole here. We're going to just drop down from the roof. Um, got to keep my eye open, Dan. It's raining now. Crap. Um, more mobs will spawn in the dark, obviously, but uh, going to keep my eye open for mobs. We're going to make our way over to this building here. There's a lot of resources I want to grab from here. Oh, you moved at the last second. Um... So yeah, we're going to grab some resources from this building. I got to cross the river, so hooray for that. I'm hoping we encounter a dog today. I want to get the, um, the last piece of, piece of leather for our dog boots. Those things are fantastic. Once you get them, you'll never take them off. Well, unless you're walking around in your house. Oh, there's two of these buildings. Really? Okay, so you want to take the all of the resources from the nether obsidian uh, anything that you can grab here that's like non-standard come on hurry up fences whatever let's kill this guy guys what's up buddy it's a drone I'm shit at targeting these guys there we go let's hope we get our health back here there we go good and you got a bandage too nice uh, but we want to grab everything that's like not easy to make grab all this stuff I'm gonna grab these because I can turn these into stone uh, bolt heads. So all this material we're going to grab. Don't know why I'm grabbing these carpets, whatever. Okay. Another brick. Another rack. I don't really want that, but I grabbed it anyway. Okay, it's quiet today. Really, really quiet. I was just about to say, I was looking at the map, I'm like, oh, there's a building. Oh, we lost it. Really? Like, there's a building over there near the water. Never seen that shape before. I'm like, oh, wait, that's mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we need four obsidian for the qu for our obsidian quest. I think it's in the second or the third tier. Same one that we're making the... Um, the... Uh, Blast furnace and the coal coke. It's a little later in the tier though. Um, okay, another brick. So we don't need a ton of nether brick, but every piece that we get is less that we actually have to make. And you can make it by um, using um, nether rack, obviously. Uh, but we don't want to waste that, so we're gonna make some more, get some more obsidian. So obsidian is needed for I think it's tier, it's the third tier of concrete. So the more obsidian you have, the more concrete you can make. Like the tougher concrete. Now you don't need it for the whole wall. Like you don't need to build a whole building like we did out of the uh, obsidian. Okay, let's get up here. Uh, oh, ooh, we got lucky there. Could have crushed us. Now we can break up that into another act too. Nice. So we're going to strip this one building. Not going to worry about the other one just yet. Now let's see if we can get this nether uh, wart. Should have brought a bucket. Damn it. Um, oh well. Take care of the lava that way. Kind of kind of precarious being up here. I don't want to get knocked off. Don't need that. Those drones are pain in the ass. It might knock me off of here, so. Did we lose that? Probably. 
I don't think I can jump over there though. Uh, but as long as that stuff down there is gone, we can just break all this. And then knock it down. I think I can do this. Oh yeah. That went down. This would be an option too if you wanted to hide up here one night. Um, but the only thing you got to worry about is uh, drones. It knocks you off here, you're screwed. All right, doggy, come on, give me some leather. Oh, let him too much. Anything? I don't think so. Uh, I don't want to take the hurt, so we're going to try and parkour back down. Not, normally not very good at parkour, but I did okay there. Okay, we're going to grab this stuff. And we're going to cut this and that and that. Cool. Now we don't need as much nether brick as I'm grabbing. But I'm grabbing it because I might want to make stuff out of it. Okay, there's that. 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 Um, this stuff. Let's grab it as we break it. So we're not going to hit up that other place today. We did strip this place down pretty good. We might as well grab some of this over here too. It's not going to hurt. Alright, so we raided that place pretty good. I'm not going to go over there. Uh, I don't want to risk it. I want to risk it for the biscuit. Now we need 16 of these guys. Might as well grab it while I'm here. We got some space. I did bring some backpacks with me, but I don't think we're going to need them. Okay, that's 14. Watermelon. We'll take, let's see what we need saplings, right? There's one, and we don't have the room. So let's bring a backpack down. Cool, we got a lot of stuff today. This is going to do a lot of quests for us. All right, grabbing these. That. We got the uh, thing, right? Yeah. See if we can get another sapling, just in case we use the one and we get a tree and then it gives us no saplings. Don't like to just have one. Let's grab another one here. And then we're going to head back. Okay, you always use the sticks. Sticks for everything. Okay, let's head back. We need obsidian, we can come back here and grab this, but we're not going to do that. Don't see any more... Uh, drops here. I think there was one over here. If I remember correctly, it was one close to the water. Yeah, right there. Although I think the sun's going down. Yeah, we need to get back. Don't want to be caught out here at night. We can get that drop another time. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Got a bunch of good materials that we can we can definitely use. Um, gonna need to make chests, so let's leave these out. We need to plant trees upstairs. 
I think we've got our string in here. Yep. Uh, another wart we can put in here for now. Just going to start putting stuff away. Let's make a couple of chests here real quick. Good thing we've got this diamond axe. Don't have to expend so many resources. We've got a jerk out front too we got to take care of. He's going to start trying to... You know what? Let's leave him. You might hear him get killed by piranha. That's always fun. He'll make his way around the back. I put this little thing in here for now, just so I could see out when the morning comes. And I got a bed going last night, so um, we have that. So our brick's done now. Put this in here. Uh, I might as well just throw these in here for now. Throw that in there for now. Uh, yeah, so this backpack we use we use one. Here we go. And I'm just going to deposit this stuff in here for now. We'll worry about it later. There we go. Okay, so, uh, quest book is right here. And we're going to need the brick out of here. And we're going to need... Nine of those. Going to need nine of these. So, first thing we need to do... Not part of the quest. Uh, well, we need to, we do need to make invar. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need four iron. It's kind of lousy, but this is what we're doing right now is going to get us our iron. So, uh, or at least all the resources from here. So we need four iron. We need two nickel, and we're going to put them in the, the pulverizer here. And we're going to go. Uh, this way. Pulverize those down. I'm not concerned about the guys outside. They're just going to leave, be leaving me stone. That's all that matters. Uh, so we got two of these. So we're going to make Invar blend. The only way to do it, this, is this way. So we grind these down into grit. We mix them together, and then we cook them. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. For fuel. Okay, there's the first set of blend. So two of these and one of these makes three invar powder. We can go in here. So once the invar is done, we need we only need four, right? We'll get an invar chest plate, which we'll use right away, and an invar sword. So once we get uh, those going, there's the blend. You don't need four invar. There's two. Um, there's a bunch of other quests we have to do. We're going to put together, once we get this one, we'll put together the uh, the uh, Blast Furnace. Now we're going to need, did we grab, I thought we grabbed the Engineer's Hammer. We haven't encountered an Engineer's Building yet, so we didn't grab an Engineer's Hammer. What was I thinking of? We pick up a different hammer. Maybe I just saw one and thought we did. I need two iron though. That's uh, more iron we got to use. Okay, so we need an engineer's hammer to finish up the blast furnace and stuff. So the engineer's hammer is this way. Okay, now we got enough invar. Can turn this quest in. So this is a good way to get a little bit, a little bit better sword, a little bit better armor. You can get this done relatively quickly. Um, so. Yeah. Oh, ultra rare body armor. Nice. What do we have in here? Just regular. So I think, yeah, our armor went up slightly. I think the more rarity it is, the more chance it has to gain experience. Uh, and the longer, the more number of, like the, the increased number of times you can actually fix it um, before it's gone completely. And we don't need the sword because we've got plenty of good, uh, we got a great enough, good enough weapon here. All right, so right. Next thing we need to do is we need to make a book here. So we need that. Oh, we don't have books. Oh, we got leather though, right? We got leather and we got got to make a book here. Oh, we need three of these. Okay, do have enough to make a book. You know, it's weird. I was thinking we should cut. We should take the books from that. Um, our first starter house, and then I was like, no, nah, we don't need them. We'll find them along the way, and I never got any. That figures. Okay, so, um, let's make a lever first, and then let's grab a piece of leather. 
and turn this into paper and turn this into a book and then turn this into the engineer's manual we get some blueprints and now we gotta make our coke bricks and that's easy easy peasy because we've already got all the materials we need for that so coke bricks are brick and then clay I think I might have these in the wrong positions I do there we go there it is there so we're gonna put it right up over here just for now this is why I like making this three high because then the roof is like right on where this is okay so next things next is to do uh, that get that working and then we need whoops that's kind of cool uh, let's get eight of these because we need to put this in here excellent get that going so there's our quest done claim our reward box of coal uh, now we need to get oil out of there we're getting our fuel reserves done and we need to work on a sieve which fortunately enough for us now that I remember we picked up we did pick up a uh, one plank right I don't have to well we did so I don't have to make one um, so our sieve is this and then we just need nine string see the first part of the game having string is like really good because it's usable for a lot of things later on not so much but because we'll be getting lots of it later but let's put the sieve here all right so that's done and it stopped raining okay so we get more iron and copper and gold uh, and I think it does this because we actually need iron and copper and gold to do some stuff later on just so we have enough uh, that's a do that put this over here okay so that's done evil sand soul sand we need four and guess what uh, it's over here we got four we don't even need to make it you can actually make soul sand but uh, oh we can't detect it oh, okay we do have to make it do have to make it but we get it after oil extraction okay let's get a clay bucket going we never did do one of these we should have let's use up all the clay here so when you're gonna do this it's weird that that's specific okay clay bucket just that simple and that's a quest so we're gonna get that one and survivalist we've got two quests in survivalist the bed and the bucket cool back to infrastructure all right oil extraction you can do that uh let's fire up this bucket in order to use it but we can take this put it in here we don't quite not have enough for creosite yet actually let's leave it there I think it's yeah we need one more of these to be finished first they're just time consuming okay we can put these guys in here fuel reserves we gotta make this I don't think we we don't know we don't have any coal coke do we no um, let's make use of this it's the next day so let's go out here while we're waiting for that Let's get these guys to give us some more cobblestone. Come on, buddies. Let's go. What, two of them? Huh. Here they come. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you died. Come on. There you are. One more over here. This is the easiest way to get stone. If you don't want to go out and get it, these guys are just idiots where are you going come on you can see me I'm right here come on 
Dirt pull. There you are. One more. See if you can do it here. Right here, buddy. There you go. That's a good boy. All right, let's collect this. All right, so that's that done. Let's see if we got a creosite bucket. Ah, we do, perfect. Now we need to make some glass. I think we need four glass. Uh, let's make, well, you know what? Let's make, let's make nine. And that's, there we go. Use that fuel. You can make tiny coal if you want. I, I mean, why not use renewable resources? There's no point in using coal unless you have to. So we're going to grab two of these. And where's our saplings? They're over here, probably. We're going to have to sort this stuff out a little later. We're going to go up to the roof real quick. And best way to get trees. Um, and you don't want to do this unless you have tiny torches up here. Because the, the uh, regular torches will burn the trees down once they grow. So you want to do it that way. Let them go up there. It's nice to have this now so I can see if there's like anything going on outside. The other thing to do is you could, um, rather than actually um, putting a, like a regular wall level, you could put one of these walls in here like this. So that way you can see where the mobs are outside. Right? That's just a thought. But, you know, I don't really care. There's another guy out there. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? Five. All right, so we need creosite. What else do we need now? Um, we gotta make a. Is it a soul jar we're making right now? Don't have cold coke yet. Uh, evil sand. We need to make a. Right. It's a. Uh, let's just type it in here. Soul vial. That's right. In order, we gotta make fused quartz, which is nether quartz around glass and creosite bucket. So nether quartz is relatively easy to get to start. Uh, we need two more iron, unfortunately. Because uh, there's a quest in the first ring to make a hammer. Once you've made this hammer, then you get some nether quartz. Where's our creosite bucket? So right here. So we got eight nether quartz and eight quartz blocks. So the quest book will pretty much give you what you need uh, to get these quests done, which is nice. So, uh, as long as you're not using up your resources willy-nilly, you should have more than enough to do what you need to do to get stuff done here. Lag. Fuse quartz. And then we need one in bar, which we have here. So this is a soul vial. That guy outside, we're going to catch him. And then we're going to make some soul sand. Alright, so let's put... That can go in here. I'm going to forget where all this stuff is. I'm going to have to come back and like resort all these out. I want to make shipping bins. Or not shipping bins. I um, can't remember what they're called. Crates or something. Hey, it's Herobrine. We just cut Herobrine's soul. <sighs> okay. Sure, buddy. <laughs> it's too bad that's not permanent. <laughs> Alright, so now we need uh, 88 sand. I never would have thought that was Herobrine out there. He was so quiet. All right, we do this. See what I mean though? It keeps him at bay, right? All right, so that makes a soul in a jar. Gives us soul stand. And we got this quest done, which gives us another soul vial. And we got this one done, which is we need to have done because we need to do the last brick, which we can easily do now. So we're gonna do this. We got 16 of these and we need uh, how many more? Nine? Is it nine we gotta make? That's 36. Five, right? Yeah, we need 36. We're gonna leave this like this. It'll save space. We only need nine of these. And then we need our 36 brick that we made earlier. Here we go. Let's make our blast brick now. So you can see how quickly, if you're, if you know what you need to make ahead of time, um, this stuff can happen really fast. We've already gathered the resources that we need to do it. Um, and really, like I said, 
if you spend the time picking up stuff like everything off of the world backpacks are important at the very very beginning um, there we go so that's that up and running now it's going to ask us to make steel that's just going to take time and I don't think that's charcoal okay I thought it was going to be a uh, coal, coal coat but it's not uh, can't fit that in there but we take one of these guys out pretty soon we'll be into automation we'll be able to grind up a lot of stuff um, and get all the resources that we need right now we're hitting it really thin with iron and stuff don't really mind that um, because we're coming up close to automation here uh, automations like right here uh, steel lets us make a um, an improved energistic um, metal press which we need to do um, and then in, or, in order to make the stuff that we need to get into automation once we get the automation stuff up and running uh, we're gonna be golden for resources we don't have to worry about it but now that we're waiting um, actually I'm gonna wait so the furnace generator um, we're gonna have a look at this real quick uh, let's type in here so we need to make oops, we need to make a furnace generator uh, right here so we need five iron for this piece and then another four for this so it's nine iron it's really really expensive but then right after that we need to make turrets so if we go to turrets here uh, turrets are relatively cheap to make the postable item turret it's really just two redstone and then stone and wood uh, and then the base is stone and wood so that, that's pretty cheap we can actually do that ahead of time which is what we're gonna do right now um, but the actual um, base that it's on, uh, the uh, or the furnace that we need to uh, do to get to this quest, requires nine iron. I don't want to spend that right now until we start doubling our iron, because we're going to need the iron to make the uh, stuff to be able to um, begin to double our stuff. I'd rather go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and make this turret. Uh, so we need four redstone. We need five wood. Yeah, four redstone, five wood, and four cobble. So it's pretty quick, pretty quick and pretty easy. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where's our redstone? One, two, three, four. And we're going to pull two more out because we need to make our uh, main turret piece. We need stone. And we've got our wood, so we should be good here. So we've got to do this. Got to do that. And then this. And that's the base. And then in order to make the turrets, we've got to go one, two, one, two. Two of these and one of these so we get chamber and a barrel which go here and here redstone yeah there it is so that's the turret quest done uh, obviously we can't get the reward yet because it's gated behind having the uh, power supply done but we've got that ready to go nice so we need coal in order to make steel so we only got eight iron left which we need to we're going to be turning into steel here we need to do there's our charcoal so that quest is done let's go back manual detect claim reward diamonds claim reward treated wood that's easy enough we'll do that in a minute so we got cool coke here plenty actually let's do this first it's better to use the coal coke as fuel for this because um, it takes one coal coke for one steel otherwise it's going to be like four regular coal for one steel uh, so it's just better to make coal coke with your coal or charcoal which you can easily get uh, and then your iron ingots in here so we're going to get steel here in a second we're still going to we're going to have to like cook up some of this iron or go searching for for more i think uh, which we probably will do instead of actually cooking stuff up we'll go searching for more so let's go and going to make Take a couple of things of creosote here. We're going to go ahead and make our planks that we need to make, which is just simple, like this. And then we're going to turn this quest in. I was going to grab the medical supply drop because uh, uh, later in the game we're going to need as much healing as we possibly can. So, okay, we got three diamonds now. That's not bad. Um, now. Uh, we're going to take the treated wood. Actually, you know what? We're going to save this because we're going to be making um, 
a little later on. We're going to be making a windmill, and we're going to need that for that. So let's leave this in here too. Uh, okay, so where are we here? So really, we're just waiting for the steel. We can make a singularity tank. That's actually real. It sounds more complicated than it is, but it's not that not that bad. So a singularity tank is like glass and iron, which we don't have. So we're going to wait for that one then. We don't need to get that to get the other quest. So we're just really gated right now behind getting the steel done. So while we're waiting for that, we will go out exploring, I think. Yeah, so that's going to go for a bit. Um, yeah, it's nighttime. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to do a few things around here, and then we'll go out exploring in the morning, okay? All right, guys, welcome back to the morning. Uh, so we got the steel done. That just cooked overnight, no problem. We're going to get some more steel and a heavy engineering block. We want the experience. Uh, we're going to worry about this in a minute. Uh, we need iron, really, for this anyway. So we can't really do too much right now. So we're going to drop these guys. And where do we put the experience? Is it in here? No? Here? Who knows? Take this with us. We don't need this. We can leave this behind. Uh... We're going to need the bucket. I don't know. We might need the bucket. Uh, we're going to need more sticks, but we... Mm, yeah, might as well. We'll probably pick some up on the way, but just in case. Just so we can make some more bolts. Okay, so... It's pretty quiet during the night. Oh yeah, the one thing I did do... Got this set up for our strainers. Uh, we'll do that when we come back. That's kind of a nighttime thing. You don't need to do it right away. And we're going to knock down the cobblestone when we come back, too. Right now we want to get out and get some of those drops. Ah, nice stairs. Thank you. Thank you very much. See how many of these air uh, airdrops we can get. I'm really hoping we can get about four or five of them today. going to leave stuff not going to pick it up unless it's important. Don't really see anything this way. I know there's one along the beach over here. So we'll grab this one. There might be another one back there too. I think I saw another one. If I remember correctly. Here? Was there? Yeah. Now, whether that lands where we can grab it or not is going to be a good question. I should really stop shooting people with the bow. I should really switch over to the sword. Uh, just because I want to get... Um, oh, there's another one right here. Eh, a string we can take. Always going to be using string for the net... Well, not always, but for the next little bit we will be. Actually, while we're waiting... Gather up some more sticks. Can't hurt. Like I said, the more efficient you are with your time. Actually, let's take the bone. Uh, just because... Um, oh, that one dropped. Uh, just because um, we want to get some stuff going early. Look at this. Not the stuff that we need. Oh, there's some iron. I don't know if you can hear my stomach growling. Okay, grab this. Uh, these guys, sure, why not? We got backpacks, so... Did this one drop? I think it did. Yeah, we're busy gathering sticks. We don't need any more leather, so we're okay with that. I have started opening the cans at home uh, for food, rather than using the portable stuff like bread and stuff. Can't Because cans you need an opener for. Uh, so I don't normally take them with me when I go out, out uh, questing on that. Just because it's just such a hassle that I always have to like stop and open them and stuff. Plus you can't stack as many. Okay, put this here. You can't stack nearly as many um, as you can with like bread and things like that. You can only put four per uh, slot, which can be a pain in the behind. Okay, more redstone. Redstone, definitely going to be using very shortly and a lot of it. We're going to have a lot of iron here. So I said I wanted between four and five. There's four drops now. Let's put these in here if we can. Okay. And let's clear this up. 
probably not going to keep all those cans but they're great for making things like barbed wire and stuff like I said uh, I don't want to go that way don't want to get attacked by the fish so we're going to go this way you get some pretty crazy world gen oh take that nope you can get some really crazy world gen in this mod pack for sure because it's supposed to be a destroyed barren desolate world right so yeah we're in a really great spot because there's like nothing spawning it's really like i said it's, it's well worth taking the time wandering around finding the right place to build because it really makes a difference in long-term game goals taking the seeds this time we're going to grab it all And then just toss the stuff that we don't want here. Nope. Nope. Don't really need a chunk of flesh. Leave that behind. Want to cross the river? Yep, there's doges. So we want to get over here. We need to get that last piece of uh, dog leather. There's three. I think there's a fish in the water there. I don't see him though. Ah oh, man. I hate Piranha. I hate him. There he is. He played his hand a little too early there. If he had waited, he would have got me in the water. Oh, there's a doge. Right here, buddy. No leather. There we go. So all we need for that is two redstone, two um, uh, slime balls, which we have, a set of leather boots, which are easy to make, and um, those four leather. And we can make ourselves some speedy boots. They gotta take us around the world really fast. Definitely need a sticks. I hate having to chop up wood for sticks. Okay, we're still in the process of finishing up our uh, Sorry, I'm just watching out for dogs here. We're still in the process of finishing up our um, um, Jesus, I, got, I can't even talk. Uh, we're in the process of finishing up our uh, uh, sugar cane quest. So, um, gonna grab some of that as we go around. There's another dog over there. Gonna grab canola. It's not a bad fuel source for later on, but I don't know if we'll end up using it. If we do, we do. At least we'll have it. Let's make our way around this way. It's pretty darn quiet. I don't know. I, I guess because it's all the water that's here. There's so much water. Ah! Oh, God, I hate those guys. Scared the crap out of me. There we go. There's another drop down here. And another one right here. Cool. Plus a dog, which we don't need right now. Yeah, I think it's probably because of all the water. We're getting real lucky here. Now that tower there, if you go up it, there's a couple of workbenches in there. And this is just all... Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm having a brain fart here. Well, I almost fell in. This is just all wool. So if you're looking for colored wool, here's the place to come. Grab four so we can make another backpack if we want to. Not that we're going to, but... You know. You know. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, another one. Nice. So we'll have extra in case we need it, which we won't, but... You never know. Alright, let's grab the rest of this... 
I thought he was coming after these guys. Wanted to get over here before he got here. Okay, gunpowder. Nice. We want to make some guns. Not going to have the ability to do that right away. Somebody got eaten by piranha. I've been there, buddy. I've been there. Always check the water before you go in. Iron. Nice. That's what I've been looking for. Should be able to finish up those last few quests now. And let's put this one. I think it's got all the metals and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab those because those are part of a quest. Alright, let's make our way back. We did really well today. Let's get our sword out. Uh don't see a piranha there. Think we can make it past? I think so. That guy went the other way. Nice. Let's get our sword out. We'll handle this guy over here. We'll have our dog boots soon. We'll not have to worry about that anymore. We'll be leaping over the water. Alright, almost home. Oh, there's another one here. I'll have to remember that. So just on the other side of the hill. I'm gonna put these guys down. Let's get the F7 here. Let's get down here. We got four more, right? Yeah. He grabbed my friggin' sword. See what I mean? Rats. You can't trust them. They'll take all your stuff. Alright, let's grab all this and then we'll go in. So that was a very fruitful run. Got a lot of stuff done today. Well, relatively a fair bit of stuff done today. Um, so that's great. Um, we're going to leave the episode here. Uh, I'm going to try and, between episodes, I think I'm going to sort all this stuff out. Um, get it organized a little better, get it into play. Uh, we'll be ready for automation next episode. Uh, where's our quest book here? Yeah, so we'll be getting into uh, metal plates, uh, metal fabrication. We'll be able to make uh, plenty of um, metal plates to do all the stuff that we need to do down here. We're going to finish up the tanks a lot and open up this down here, which will give us the ability to grow redstone, which is awesome. And then we'll build some turrets next episode, which should be good too. So I think between episodes, what I'll do is I'll get everything set up for this, making sure we have enough. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get that stuff done. But first thing we want to do is get the automation finished. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to get this stuff uh, organized. We'll probably be working on this a little differently next time you see it. I'll probably sweat, switch all this around, which is one of the reasons why I set the number of uh, diff like the difficulty to go up, because it'll give me some time to be able to just work on stuff between episodes and get everything organized for the next one. All right, so we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, drop a like. If you got any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.